a municipal corporation, city corporation, Mahanagar Palika, Mahanagar Nigam or Nagar Nigam or Nagara Sabha is a local government in India that administers urban areas with a population of more than 1 million. The growing population and urbanization in various cities of India were in need of a local governing body that can work for providing necessary community services like health care, educational institution, housing, transport etc. by collecting property tax and fixed grant from the state government. The 74th Amendment made the provisions relating to urban local governments. Goa, Karnataka, and Maharashtra, Poro Nigam in Assam and West Bengal, Purpurishad in Tripura, Nagar Palika Nigam in Madhya Pradesh, Nagara Palaka Samsta in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, and Managarachi in Tamil Nadu. The Vidodara Municipal Corporation is typically called by the name, Vidodara Mahanagar Siva Sadan. The detailed structure of these urban bodies varies from state to state, as per the laws passed by the state legislatures, but the basic structure and function is almost the same. <laughs> <laughs> Composition The area administered by a municipal corporation is known as a municipal area. Each municipal area is divided into territorial constituencies known as wards. A municipal corporation is made up of a wards committee. Each ward has one seat in the wards committee. Members are elected to the wards committee on the basis of adult franchise for a term of five years. These members are known as councillors or corporators. The number of wards in a municipal area is determined by the population of the city. Some seats are reserved for scheduled castes, scheduled tribes, backward classes and women. A state can choose to constitute additional committees to carry functions of urban local governance, in addition to the wards committees. In addition to the councillors elected from the wards, the legislature of a state may also choose to make provisions for the representation of persons having special knowledge or experience in municipal administration, the MPs or MLAs representing the constituencies which comprise wholly or partly the municipal area, and or the commissioners of additional committees that the state may have constituted. If a state legislature appoints a person from the first category to a wards committee, that individual will not have the right to vote in the meetings of the municipal corporation, while MPs, MLAs and commissioners do have the right to vote in meetings. The largest corporations are in the seven metropolitan cities of India, viz. Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai, Bengaluru, Hyderabad and Pune. The Brihanmumbai Municipal Corporation BMC of the city of Mumbai is the richest municipal corporation in India. Administration The mayor is the head of the municipal corporation, but in most states and territories of India the role is largely ceremonial as executive powers are vested in the municipal commissioner. The office of the mayor combines a functional role of chairing the corporation meeting as well as ceremonial role associated with being the first citizen of the city. As per the amended Municipal Corporation Act of 1888, a deputy mayor is appointed by the mayor. The tenure of the mayor and deputy mayor is five years. However, in seven states, Bihar, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand, mayors are directly elected by the people and thus hold the executive powers of the municipal corporations. Executive officers monitor the implementation of all the programs related to planning and development of the corporation with the coordination of mayor and councillors. Functions The twelfth schedule to the constitution lists the subjects that municipal corporations are responsible for. Corporations may be entrusted to perform functions and implement schemes including those in relation to the matters listed in the 12th schedule. Urban planning including town planning. Regulation of land use and construction of buildings. Planning for economic and social development. Water supply for domestic, industrial and commercial purposes. Public health, sanitation conservancy and solid waste management. Fire services. Urban forestry, protection of the environment and promotion of ecological aspects. Safeguarding the interests of weaker sections of society, including the handicapped and mentally retarded. Slum improvement and upgradation. Urban poverty alleviation. 
Provision of urban amenities and facilities such as parks, gardens, playgrounds. Promotion of cultural, educational and aesthetic aspects. Burials and burial grounds, cremations, cremation grounds and electric crematoriums. Cattle pounds, prevention of cruelty to animals. Vital statistics including registration of births and deaths. Public amenities including street lighting, parking lots, bus stops and public conveniences. Regulation of slaughter houses and tanneries. Topic: Sources of income. Its sources of income are taxes on water, houses, markets and vehicles, commercial only, paid by residents of the town and grants from the state government. Topic: See also List of municipal corporations of India Municipal governance in India <laughs>